So today I'm going to show you guys how to make my coconut lemongrass chicken curry. And you want to start off with washing the rice in cold water. Wash it until it is no longer showing up cloudy and then soak it in cold water for 20 minutes. I'm cooking it in Sriracha's Kitchen Bone Broth, which will be available on Amazon shortly. Just waiting a couple more days and to get approved. I'm so excited for you guys to try. Then in the mortar and pestle, you want to crush up the ginger, garlic, and black mustard seed. Then in a cast iron pan, you want to put some coconut oil, just regard the fact that I used butter the first time. Then you want to put in your spices, cumin, turmeric. Garam masala, I think I'm saying that right. And this was so good, oh my goodness. And then you want to put the paste in the cast iron and heat that up as well. Now I'm adding more coconut oil. I added way more spices than you can see in this video. I just kept adding and adding. I like my food flavorful. Then I'm adding in some chopped shallots and just letting those sear. Then I'm adding in three serrano peppers. Then I'm adding in some coconut milk. I used three cans total. I got the organic guar gum free. You don't want that guar gum inside your coconut milk. And there's some organic brands that say organic and it's not organic because it has that shit in it. Then add some salt, some quality salt. That's some gray salt that a friend gave me. So good. Some peppercorn. Then I'm adding some bay leaves, some cardamom pods some star of anise and the bay leaves, cardamom pods, star of anise, and then the chunks of dried coconut that I put in. Those are just for aromatics. You take them out before you put the chicken in or I took them out and then I put the chicken in and then I put them on top so I didn't lose them in the food. Then I'm adding some lemon juice and I had added some more coconut milk, some tomato paste, there's so many ingredients to this recipe and it's so flavorful, so good. Then I'm adding some curry powder. Then I'm going to add in some chopped peppers. Stir that around. Then I'm adding some cumin and garam masala in again. Like I said, just keep adding spices and test it out. Then I put some lemongrass in there as well. That's another aromatic that you don't want to keep in there. You just take it out, brings it the flavor. Otherwise, it's just really bitter and you can't really chew it. And then I'm adding in my chicken and some more coconut milk, letting that simmer for about 30 minutes.